I'm going to answer another question. Design plus development. So let's see what this guy is asking here. Steph, this goes back to October, uh, October 9th, 2019. I'm recording this in uh, February 2020. Again, I am lucky if I can answer 5% of the questions sent to me. That's why I'm setting up the mentoring program. Links below. Uh, so that I can give people premium access while I will answer questions in a timely manner. Anyway, shameless self-promotion, but also people have been asking for mentoring of with me for the longest time. I'm finally responding to the demand. So uh, if you're interested, take a look below. But it's premium, so keep that in mind. Steph, I've been flip-flopping back and forth between the past two years doing UI design and learning to code. One month, I'm totally gung-ho to become a developer. The next month, I change to UI design because I have more experience doing that. Photoshop, Illustrator, I'm self-taught. Am I any good at UI design, he asked. Honestly, I'm okay. Do I have a passion for UI design? Not really, it's just something I can do. I struggle with coming up with concepts. Am I good at code? I'm not super great yet. Do I have a passion for code? Yes, I do. The whole coding universe excites me more than design does. It's just a lot harder for me to learn with my busy schedule. With UI design, I can kind of hack my way through it and I have gotten hired three times in the last two years by two local businesses. I am having so much trouble with being overwhelmed with bills and life stuff and wasting, wasting time flip-flopping that I resorted to quitting for now. Fix up my resume and look for a better sales job that pays more because I've been doing sales for 15 years. I have two interviews this week. I need to get my income in order and then I can focus on UI or code, but I am just curious, how did you know code was for you? I create designs and people say they look professional, but it doesn't drive me to want to be better. I code, I struggle, I create something with code, I have fun. I'm kind of lost, Jenny. It sounds to me like you'd be a pretty good full stack developer. You do a little gooey stuff, a little design, and you do back end. As you write more and more code, you will get better and better at it, of course. And uh, it just comes with practice like anything else. In the meantime, you can do your sales job to make some money and you can work on the side to develop your coding skills. I would just do some freelance gigs on the side and work with small businesses. So you're gonna be forced to do a bit of coding and a bit of design, a little mixture here and there. And as you become more experienced, well, hold on. As you become more experienced, you'll be able to pick and choose the type of projects that you do that have more emphasis on code, back end, or more emphasis on front end. Uh, you just gotta have to feel your way through it. That being said, let's say you decide to do six months of concentrating on coding back end, you do a couple of back end coding gigs, and you discover that, nah, I'm kind of more of a UI type of guy, UI, usability, UX. Then you just pivot there. All that experience on the back end will come very, very handy for you as you actually jump into uh, the front end and vice versa. If you become a front end guy, let's say you are a girl, you start doing a lot of Vue.js, you're doing front ends, you're making the UX look good and run well, etc. And then you decide you want to pivot more back end or do some full stack, then again, it all works together, it all comes together nicely. That's the great thing about learning this technology is that there's no wasted learnings, if you will, right? Because what you take from one area, if you decide to move to something else, that experience there will transfer over to a certain extent. Many times, much more than you think. That's why, related to this, when I tell people, don't worry so much about choosing the correct language, programming language to learn, because if you decide to say, start with Python, and you see that the demand is PHP for freelance, for you to pivot from Python to PHP, or you decide you started with C Sharp, and you wanna, go, you wanna end up working in a Java house, 
You know, it's not that difficult to switch over. The hardest language to learn is the first language to learn. That leg is by far the most difficult because you're learning all these new concepts. You're literally, you're probably going to be rewiring your brain so it, uh, it understands code. Uh, once you have that, then that uh, mindset, if you will, transfers across the board. So, as you know, all web apps require a front end, they require a back end. So if you come if so if you become a back end specialist and you decide, eh, I prefer front end or vice versa, they all lend themselves together because if you're writing back end code, you better know what's going on in front end so you can deliver stuff to the front end properly. Doesn't mean you have to be a super expert, but you have to at least understand what the front end guys are looking for from you. And vice versa. So on and so forth. All right, I hope that helps. I wish I would have got gotten back to you sooner, given you wanted to get back in sales. But uh, I'm going to race you now, uh, Jenny, and uh, I hope you see this video. All right, that's it for today.